you're natural. Yes. <laughs> so, okay, uh, what's your name? My name is Noor. Yes, I'm a Libyan from Benghazi, of, from the origin of the revolution. Okay. Okay. And how old are you? Uh, 27. 27. Yeah. Okay, and uh, before the revolution, what did you do? Uh, normal life. Maybe because I'm a, a medical student, I don't feel uh, sometimes the, the clothes on the, um, on the people like uh, what you work, uh, for example, um, in the television and the, the people in the television uh, feeling like the, uh, the, the different between before and now. Now you can say what you want and you, you can make what you feel or what you like. But uh, before the revolution, everyone had this uh, afraid from talk or say anything. And, and you, 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 uh, sometimes you are afraid from your, uh, your uh, friend, even as a friend from many years. But you always think that she maybe have a relation with the guys of Gaddafi. Like a spy? Uh, something like that, yeah. yeah. In the fun, because you think the Libyans always uh, feel like there is uh, something from, in, uh, from uh, Gaddafi in every family, in every uh, uh, building in the in the work, you don't know when you can talk when you, always there is that afraid from talking. So what's it like now afterwards that you can say anything? Yes. What's the feeling like? As uh, very exciting and uh, great feeling. Yes, not too afraid. So you as, as the better, as the best feeling. So you feel free? Yes. Yes. Okay, and so how have, what have you been doing? How have you been helping the revolution? Helping this revolution? Uh, uh, it was uh, spontaneously. Um, let me see how to. Spontaneous? Yes, spontaneous. Um, the people was talking the Facebook, uh, but n no one can know if this is will happen, really happened or not. But it's it it must like uh, a surprise for everyone. Yes, um, we now uh, inside the revolution, but we are like a surprising uh, uh, when they happened. How uh, we when we now in the uh, like a shock. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> did when the revolution when the protest first started? Did you think it would turn out like Tunisia or Egypt, or how did you think things would go? when the protests first started. Do, do, does that make sense? Yes, and, and, and Egypt and, and uh, Tunis. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I think. Um, I, I, all the people were thinking that, that this will start in Libya because the people was uh, um, in a level uh, that uh, it was the people like uh, a bump. It was to explode. Yes, yeah. yeah. not uh, we not we cannot um, uh, doing this anymore. And when when see the people in uh, Egypt and in Tunis, like they uh, they was happened there, and and then then the finals, the, what they need and what they want, they really happened. This uh, and this time give us the hope that we can do this, and for that we all go out and we all and the final we all uh, Arab and uh, all the Arabs so uh, have uh, strong feelings that we w when we they need the the. The freedom, they get it. If they will die or leave, 
but we get what we want, the finance. Okay, very good. I notice you have a badge here. What, yes. Do you want to tell me about this, your badge? Yes, yes. It's uh, the White Hands Society. Yes. The White Hands Society. Yes. And it says, God never, God never wastes a monument. Okay. And so what is the White Hands Society? As a society helps the families of the people uh, that they die uh, because of the revolution and the war. And the people that are in injury in the hospitals then don't have money for uh, treatment and for medicine and for look uh, and for searching for the people that are missing for now they don't know where they are many many of uh, of uh, uh, people are missing now girls boys men for the, well, our committee uh, our society is to help these people to found their families then what is your role or what do you what service do you provide in white yes society? Uh, i am now i'm um, because i am have uh, a spanish language i try to translate the the goal of the of this society in spain to uh, try to uh, uh, get some supplies from spain because we need it so much we need the, there are so many many families that now are living in, uh, in Benghazi, coming from Rastrata or from Jdabia. They don't have uh, uh, the minimum things to live, the clothes, the, for eating, medicine, for that. We, we hope uh, anyone as a human being, he can feel these things when you need for your child the milk. Is, is the basic, this thing, so the basic. For that, we need to get some suppliers from here, from outside, because all, all people in the final uh, human beings the, uh, must help each other. Okay. And my rule is translated in Spain language because they have it in the English. And I am translating that in Spain, the goal of the society to get some suppliers from uh, help from Spain or any country that's uh, talking Spain. So you know a lot of languages. Yes, <laughs> Spain, English, no, <laughs> Spain <laughs> more than English. My English is a little bad. <laughs> no, you're doing fine. <laughs> okay, thank you. So, okay, now what made you decide to take Spanish? Or why did you learn Spanish? Because I lived in Spanish from uh, uh, many years ago. Um, from I am very young to six, seven years. It was my first language, the Spanish, okay. yes. Okay, um, where did you live in Spain? In Valencia. Valencia, yes. Catalonia. Yes, it's a beautiful yeah. city. Great football team. Yes, yeah. <laughs> but I am not watching, uh, not from people like uh, football too much. Yeah, Yes. that's the team I support in Spain. Oh, very good. Yeah. Yeah. So what uh, what music do you like? Um, very kind of music. I don't. Uh, I'm not from the people that have uh, uh, a specific kind of music. I uh, I like to uh, to change and uh, to listen to uh, every kind okay. of music. Yes, Arabic, English, Spanish. How about movies? I love movies. Yes, I love movies. Okay, now a question. I don't know if you know it. In my country, the yes. uh, Al Qaeda is always the big fear. And so, do you have a message for the American people uh, regarding Al Qaeda? Yes. That uh, the idea that they have the American now about uh, the Muslims is wrong. The, uh, the Muslim people are, are like the American, like that. we are all human beings. We don't like to see anyone killed or uh, suffering from anything. We, in our religion, you cannot 
um, uh, make some, someone suffering from a word, bad words, not from uh, uh, using guns or uh, killing people. And the simple thing is not not uh, say something bad to it. It's, it's, it's the most important thing in our religion. So you can imagine how the people, the Muslim people, must be kind people. Yes. And so to the American audience who, because our, my media always brings up is Al-Qaeda in Libya. Uh-huh. I think that every, uh, I don't know how to say it, but this is not the Muslims. Yes. Killing people in every, in, in any city is is the idea of this person is not what the what uh, his uh, religion uh, uh, um, I don't think it's a religion of peace yes it's a religion of peace and everyone makes something is for for him he want to do this not the muslim not the arab yes and the people it was killed in many cities almost now in palestine and that's, I don't think that anyone in, in the world like to, uh, to, to see uh, uh, someone from his family suffering or dying is, is the, the, the most bad thing that can, may happen to anyone. Okay, so what do you want to say to people in Tripoli right now? Because, you know, Tripoli is yes. under control of Gaddafi still. And yes. Is there a message you want to give them? Yes. And Tripoli is, uh, it was and it will be the Lassima. Uh, the capital. The capital of Libya. Yes. And we all Libyans. And the people in Benghazi, have families have in Libya it uh, all the people have this connection between the families everyone have a, a daughter uh, was um, married with someone from the east from the west you cannot separate it we cannot be separated Libya is Libya there's no east west and we I will not say that we love the people in uh, and Bang and Tripoli. Tripoli is our family, and it is normal. Love the fa no, our family. Okay, and so the tribal, the tribes are very close then. That tri the tribes, the tribes of Libya are one. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. We, we, it's, it's impossible to separate. Okay, and uh, what do you want to say to Gaddafi and his family? Remember, you can say anything now. Yes, please stop. Stop. Uh, we we live in now a, like a nightmare. We must stop what's happening now and leave the country in peace. Okay, and uh, one last question. I come from a uh, place where there's a lot of Spanish speakers. Yes. Okay, so what do you want to say to the Spanish speakers about Libya? Okay, the Spanish. In, in Spanish. In Spain, yeah. sí. Pues, digo para todos los españoles que nos ven o cualquier persona que puede entender el español en cualquier sitio, que, que necesitamos ayuda en Libia. Que si eh, solamente salir en las calles y decir por Gaddafi que para de hacer esto con su gente en Libia, esto será, será un punto bueno para nosotros. Y que se pueden ayudarnos por mandar eh, medicina, mandar ayudas, será lo mejor que puedan hacer por nosotros y para ellos, porque ellos también serán orgullosos de hacer esto, porque lo que está pasando en Libia es, es lo, creo que es lo peor que ha pasado en todo el mundo. Solo. Okay, well that was very very good.
So, Mumtaz, Mumtaz, and Shokran, we oh. all greatly appreciate it. You're wonderful. Oh, thank so, you. She deserves a. Thank you. She will be the, the star of the movie, huh? Yes. <laughs> she is. Of course. <laughs> okay.